you again. Two words could not have been imbued with more venom had they been spat by a cobra. Edward almost flinched in surprise as he looked down at the man in front of him. Whilst he had been deliberating on the best method of approach, Oswald had clearly spotted him and approached him, materialising from the crowd without Edward even noticing it. He radiated fury. You're not welcome here, Enigma. How sweet of you to remember my name. I'm flattered. Oswald smiled without humour. I'm serious. You're not welcome here. You have about five seconds to leave before I peel off your face and mail it to your mother. That's no way to speak to a man who's here to offer you a deal. Oswald's eyes narrowed. What are you talking about? I'm talking about me being able to give you something that you want. And what's that? No one is born with it. Everyone dies with it. People never stop wanting it, yet to have a, even a little of it is a dangerous thing. Don't touch me, Nygma. Knowledge. The answer is knowledge. Edward's face hurt from grinning. Oswald could never get one over on him. Edward far outstriped him in every way, and it felt good. Do you know what knowledge is, Oswald? Power! Oswald gave him a long, penetrating look. Come with me. You have two minutes. Oswald led Edward through a soundproof door next to the bar, into the back corridor. Oswald moved fast for someone with such a disfiguring limp, and Edward had to scurry to keep up with him. At the far end of the corridor was Oswald's office. The door swung shut behind them. Sick. Cobblepot commanded, sinking into a high-backed leather chair behind his huge mahogany desk, propping his umbrella up against his bookcase. No thanks, I'd rather stand. This had better be good, Nygma. Oh, it is, he said, his eyes gleaming. I'm going to help you become a better killer. There was a beat of silence. What? I said that I'm going to help you become a better killer. Are you accusing me of something? You know exactly what I'm talking about, Oswald. Don't play dumb. Oswald slowly got to his feet. You work for the police. I looked you up and I know all about you. You know Jim Gordon. How stupid do you think I am? Edward felt his smile start to grow again. Very stupid indeed, little bird. Oswald began to prowl around his desk, stalking towards him, slow and threatening. Stop smiling like that. Smiling? I'm not smiling, said Edward, grinning even wider. Oswald reached him, getting as close to, into Edward's face as was possible for someone so short. He smelt of whiskey and sweat. His pointed nostrils were white and flared with anger. Are you laughing at me? I wouldn't dream of it. I'm here to help. To help? To help you become a better killer. 